Greg, two all after 90 minutes and then a 4-2 win on the penalty shootout. It wasn't straightforward, but you're through to the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy. How are you feeling? Yeah, we're, we're happy now. We've got a result. Um, we're happy we've won the game. You know, there was times in it where we thought we, we were going to be comfortable. Then they, they, they sort of got a lot of energy and, you know, it was a big game for them. Their, their scene sort of like, you know, not really started. And this was a big game because they want to continue it and, and, and have something to play for but, uh, with us. You know, we sort of wanted to kill the game off earlier than we did. But uh, listen, at the end of it, we've, we've got through and uh, we, we've gone to the next round with, with, with a positive. Is it difficult to know exactly what to expect when you make so many changes, eight in all? Yeah, it is, but we, we have to get everybody pitch time, don't we? we it's, it's well documented that we've got so many games coming up in such a short period of time that, you know, you've seen one of the two of the lads going down with cramp later on in the game, so that the minutes are vital to them, so that, you know, when we do have to make changes, and we will have to make changes for whatever reason, whether it's be injuries and or suspensions or, or just, just to reshuffle things, you know, these lads can come in and, and up to speed and the team continues to play at a good level. It's an odd one, isn't it? When you win a game on, on, on penalties, you often think, well, there'll be great jubilation and things like that. But there just there simply isn't when it comes to the FA Trophy. I wonder what the, the actual feeling is in the changing room right now. I, I, listen, I, I think the feeling is we won a game. You know, it, you can't take it away. We're in football to win football matches. And, you know, the more times you win, you, you, you're never going to you know, do yourself down by winning winning games. And I think for momentum purposes and, and for the fact that, you know, we've we've got another winner at our belt and confidence thing going into Tuesday, you know, I, I, I just think winning is important. The lads are happy now, you know, because once you start, you, you know, the game just sort of takes a pattern. But in, in anything you do in football, you try and win. Whether it's in training, you know, you're trying to win a game. And we've, we've you know, we've come out on top only by a fine margin, but ultimately we've come out on top. You mentioned all of those changes already. Uh, one of those saw Jimmy Knowles into the team. A lot of Knotts fans are clamouring at the moment for him to get a run out, a start in the National League as well. He keeps putting his hand up, doesn't he? Yeah, l listen, ammunition for Jimmy. He's scoring goals and he's, he's got another one today, you know, and... and Again, we think we've got to be a little bit more clinical in that final third. You know, we, we, uh, some of our football at times is, is really, really good from back to front. And then we need to make sure we, we, we make it pay with getting goals. And, you know, Jimmy's, uh, you know, again, give the manager something to think about. But, you know, his all-round game is improving. He's improving. He, he knows how difficult it is. And you see at times today how tough the game was for him. But, you know, he finds the back of the net and he gets himself in good position. So, you know, it's, a, it's another positive, you know, for, the, for today. Can we talk about Tyrese Palmer for a moment? A young lad who's, I think he's 18 years old. Out of the blue, he's, he's, he's there, as far as it looks for us, it's out of the blue anyway. He's, he's there yeah. on the bench, he gets a run out as well. He comes on, he nearly scores, but he wins a penalty in the process. And then it goes from right up there to, to, to a sending off. How's he doing? He's all right because I've just sat with him for five minutes and, and, and told him not to be too disappointed. But you know, it's a, it's a learning curve, isn't it? And he's probably found out today what football's all about—the highs and lows. And if you go through my career, it's up and down all the time. You never get an even run at it. It's so many grey areas. But he's come on. He's done great for the for the the, the, the chance he nearly scores with, and the lads actually pulled him back. If he doesn't pull him back, he would have scored. So that'd have been a goal on his debut, which is fantastic. And then it might have ended different. Then he gets done for a you know a, a probably a little bit harsh one on on when he goes down. We can't really see where from where we are what he's, he's actually done when he gets booked for diving and then the other one the keeper can only kick it out of play and he's just got to put the brakes on but listen youthful enthusiasm and a, and a local boy wanting to make tackles for the good of the team I'm not sure I'm in a position to be able to criticise that I think, it's, I think it's actually good but he has to learn from that and he has to learn when to put the brakes on but at 18 he wanted to give everything and show everybody that he, he can play a part in what we're all about yeah, absolutely. And as you say, you can't criticise that. Do you think he'll be involved more often now going forwards? Is he one of those players that has been around the first team squad and training? Well, we've been. It's been difficult with the COVID because we're sort of separate from from the academy. But we've looked at what they're doing and, and the great work that the, the academy staff are doing and how well the under eighteen team is performing. You know, listen, bright bright things that happen during the season aren't just winning winning games for for the first team. They are developing your own players, and you know, well, hopefully he's the first of one, and we can get one or two more into the group and and see how they are. But uh, you know, it's a compliment to the to the, the guys behind us that he's come in and he's, he's listen. He, whatever whatever you can say, he's made a big impact today and he's, he's you know he's he's got us ascending off got us a penalty and got us back in the game so hopefully there's one or two more and he can spend a bit more time with us yeah and some quieter afternoons ahead for him maybe in the future i guess um you, you go ahead now full steam to to dagenham and redbridge on tuesday it's a six o'clock kickoff you're kind of in the lap of the gods really aren't you as far as what the weather does in the next couple of days or so because it's supposed to turn pretty cold 
yeah, but I think by doing the six o'clock thing gives us the best possible chance we can of, of getting the game on. I think that obviously the frost sheets and everything will be on. We're, we're fingers crossed. We're, we're hoping because we need to get these games on. We need to. We don't need to get any more games behind um, by playing at six o'clock. You know, if it does freeze, it's probably going to be after eight. Hopefully, I'm not a weatherman, but you know, obviously the later it goes, the, the colder it gets. But if we can get that game on and get a result, then again from today, more momentum, more confidence, and another another a win that takes us in the right direction. And just finally, we know that Notts County have voted for the season to continue. Are you hopeful that it will do? Are you hopeful that there'll be enough support? for the season to continue from other clubs in the division I'm not hopeful I'm desperate you know it's it's what we do you know we without football you know it's it's just been such a tough year with everything else going on football just gives a bit of a, a bit of enjoyment to the to the supporters and, and the football club but to us it's our job it's what we do and we want to come to work earn our, earn our keep and uh, and keep the thing going the lads are really really keen and they every time we get a game called off you can almost see that the, the focus in training drop but the, you know they keep picking themselves up they keep performing we're on a nice little bit of a run and, and for sure we, we're hopeful and desperate for other clubs to see common sense and, and let's keep playing